Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for um, ammonia, NH3. So uh, here we go. Um, start off with NH3, which is going to give you 5 valence from the nitrogen, plus uh, 3 hydrogen, each with 1 valence electron. So that's a total of 8 valence electrons. Okay. Um, so you can't use my trick where you subtract the largest number of eight because it has hydrogens and those don't obey the octet rule. But we know that they can't be central atoms, so this really shouldn't be too difficult. We can go ahead and start off with the uh, nitrogen in the center and surround it by the three hydrogens and then single bond all of those because every hydrogen can only have two electrons total, so that means one single bond. So that's two, four, six electrons. We still need one more. And notice also that the nitrogen does not follow the octet rule yet, so we have to add on this extra pair. So remember, this line is going to signify two electrons. So there's one, two, three single bonds, each to a hydrogen, and one non-bonding pair. So that should be our structure, but we can go ahead and do the formal charges to verify that this is correct. So the formal charge on nitrogen is going to be five valence brought in minus three bonds, one, two, three, minus two non-bonding electrons, which is a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on one of the hydrogens, which they'll all be the same, is one valence brought in minus one bond minus zero non-bonding. So that's going to give you a formal charge of zero, and that's times three because there's three of those hydrogens. So if you sum these up, the overall formal charge is zero, which is what you want because this is a non-charged compound. This is not an ion. Okay, so that's good. That's what we're looking for. And now we can go ahead and start about start talking about the shape. Uh, this is going to be an A X three E one because there's three bonding atoms and one non-bonding pair of electrons. So three atoms, one pair of electrons. So this is going to be a trigonal pyramidal or pyramidal, well, whatever you want to call it, trigonal pyramidal shape, and the uh, bond angle that occurs with that shape is approximately 107 degrees, okay? And uh, in terms of hybridization, this is going to have an sp3 hybridization because there's one, two, three, four bonding sites, S and three P, so that's four hybrid orbitals. And due to the non-bonding pair up top, this is going to be a polar molecule. All right, that's uh, pretty much it. Have any questions, uh, let me know. And thank you for watching.